Organizations have important business services that need to be producing for users all day, every day. IT teams need to support these ever-growing and changing services that are deployed on diverse platforms. Knowing all the components and relationships of a service is difficult at best. Which means, without a service model, knowing whether a monitoring event is related to a critical service is impossible, and identifying the root cause for a service outage takes many people many hours. And for the future, without a service model, knowing impacts of a plan change request is guesswork. Without automation, when trying to build a service model, each one is a one-off exercise, requires deep knowledge of all data centers, and quickly becomes obsolete with today's constantly changing infrastructure. BMC service blueprints help to easily create and maintain service models, which previously took days and multiple resources to build. This effort has been completely automated and is dynamic in nature, so if a new device or server is added to the service, the blueprint automatically updates the model. BMC provides users more than 20 out-of-the-box blueprints for the most common service models like infrastructure, cloud, APM, and network. This helps to build service models quickly. SRE personnel or administrators can also create their own blueprints based on specific requirements. So, blueprints provide fast and accurate model creation that saves time, dynamically update the service models as the infrastructure changes, are reusable so a single one can generate many services, and easy to configure to your infrastructure for accurate monitoring. Let's take a closer look at an example of a Blueprints template and resulting service model. As we said, Blueprints map themselves to the organization infrastructure. For this to happen, the modeler chooses the infrastructure piece, CI, that maps to the root of the Blueprint, and from there the Blueprint does the mapping. To build a service, the service modeler selects the AppDynamics blueprint and the desired AppDynamics applications associated with the cluster. AppDynamics is limited to application-only topology and has no knowledge of the underlying physical infrastructure and network. So, the blueprint will automatically create a service that connects the application topology to physical hosts and network devices that have been discovered using a discovery tool and further enriched by other monitoring tools. In seconds, the service modeler can automatically create a service model that spans application to network and cloud to mainframe for AI ops, change management, and asset management use cases. This service model is dynamic and will be automatically maintained based on the blueprint. If, in the future, CIs are added or removed, the pattern matching will dynamically account for any changes and maintain a current service model. The default AppDynamics blueprint is designed to match with machines in the data center. Now, let's see how to configure it to also work with Azure Cloud Infrastructure in the service. In this case, we add Cloud Provider, Region, and Service. Next, they are related to each other and to the existing blueprint. That means, whether the hosts running AppDynamics are in the cloud or in a private data center, they will be included in the business service definition. Finally, the cloud provider is limited to Azure, and no other provider will match the blueprint's constraints. As you can see, it is easy to customize a blueprint to address the entire business service. Finally, please remember, blueprints provide fast and accurate model creation that saves time, dynamic updates of models that frees up hours of labor, are reusable, so a single one can generate many services, and easy to configure to your infrastructure for accurate monitoring.